Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Tanya at Sidegate Crafts and welcome to the new subscribers that are here. I'm so glad you're here. If you have not hit that subscribe button yet, I hope you'll decide to. I hope you'll be inspired because I like to have lots of fun, do all kinds of creative crafts here and I hope to inspire you as well. So hit that subscribe button, hit the notification button too. Why not? Why not? It's all free, doesn't cost you a thing. Even if you decide you don't even wanna come back, <laughs> which I hope that that's not the case. But even if you decided that, it didn't cost you nothing. Anyway, today is going to be one of those days where we need to craft together. So go get your crafty stuff. Come on, hurry up, go get it. And we're going to um, just play and get some stuff done. I'm making some envelopes for um, journals today. I have these envelopes sitting here. I need to do something with them. It's time. Got to start doing stuff with my stuff. So um, I've decided to get them out. I want some of this flower paper on here too. The back side of this is gorgeous as well and I want this to show. So um, I have decided to get some of these things out and about and make them into things. So enough saving it for that one day project. Um, today's the day, we're just gonna do it. I can't keep doing that to myself. Oh my goodness, I cut that almost perfect almost perfect it goes just no it doesn't it goes to the line look at that oh no it did go over almost one of them's crooked and undoubtedly it's probably my paper no it's not this is just folded crooked here if we fold it correctly see not my fault at all look at that i did fold it cut it perfect <laughs> Uh, there's just a tiny spot on the top and that is just fine. So yeah, we're making up some stuff today. We're going to have some fun. Um, I thought it would be great to get this things out. I am on a mission to make some things. Actually, it is a little bit to make some things for upcoming journals. Um, I have not been so good about getting these things done. So I have decided that I can't do that anymore. I've got to start completing things. So if I get an idea and an inspiration, no matter what it is, I need to go with it. Just do it. Don't put it aside for that maybe one day. Just do it. That's me. That's my goal for myself. That's what I'm going to try to do. Now my goals always change. My plans always change. Um, but that is what I have decided these last few days that I need to stop procrastinating and just go for it. And I hope you guys will too. Ouch, why do I always do that to myself? I always end up poking myself with that pin. Okay, so I'm going to take these envelopes that I've been sitting aside, my desk. I still have a few more, but I know that I can't get done all of the things today because I have to go to work. So I'm going to do some of the things tomorrow. I'm actually off of work and I have to spend more time in my craft room getting some of these things accomplished because honestly, I need more room in my craft room. And the only way to get it is to get some of these things out of here or at least put together so that they make more sense and I can organize them better. You know, that makes sense. And if I can get these things completed, I could actually complete some journals and maybe even put them up in my Etsy for you guys. So there. So this envelope was just a junk mail envelope. I saw it and knew that it had to be something in a journal. So what I'm doing, because it's so big, I don't want it to just be one pocket. It's gonna be two pockets. So I can use this as a flip in a book this way or this way, whatever. whatever on the side, it doesn't matter that it's crooked, or not crooked, but sideways, that's okay with me. Um, I could also have it flip out, I can have, you know, do all kinds of things with it. So, yeah, so now it'll be a pocket this way, and it'll be this pocket. And let's put this one on here to make this pretty. We're gonna cut that right about there. I wish that I hadn't dropped my small a small routine behind my desk because I haven't gone down to, to find it. It's down back behind my desk. I know where it is, but I can't reach it from here. And um, I haven't taken the time to dive in and get it. So this big one will have to do. Or scissors. Scissors work. But my guillotine's straighter. My scissor work is not straight, you guys. 
not straight at all. So that will pretty that up. There we go. And if I it's not if it's not too late, let's go ahead and put that back a little closer to the edge. We're going to grunge up the sides here a little bit. And I like the gap here because it shows that it's a pocket. So that's kind of nice. And then we'll put a tag in. Oh, I have those tags that are done. Will one of those be pretty in there? Because I think I use that same paper. Same paper line. Look, look at this. This might be nice. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so we're gonna grunge this up a bit because these are grungy. So let's make them kind of fit together and turn it into something. All right, and then these are just plain on the back, which I can grunge that up too, but I don't wanna go too far grunging up the back because then it'll be hard to write on. But that's beautiful, right? It's a, actually, I don't know if it's the same paper line. I feel like it might be different, but we're gonna grunge this up. We're gonna do that right now. Don't wait. Even if that means that's the only one we're making today, I'm okay with it. Um, hang on, hang on, slow down, Tom. I got an idea and I'm like, ooh, go for it, go for it. But I need to slow myself down just a second here because I also need something on this flap. Would this work? Not really, huh? This is the Maggie Holmes. I don't know if it's actually Maggie Holmes. I know that Paper Studio, not Paper Studio, one of the other, yeah, this one is Maggie Holmes. I know that um, at Joann's, they have a line of paper that's, it kind of mimics Maggie Holmes. So I always go back and forth. Is it, is it Maggie Holmes, the real one, or is this the other? Let's set these aside a second because, look at all these goodies from yesterday. I'm just gonna dump those in my tray and see if there's anything. No, none of those will go. We need this pastelish. I have two, two other envelopes here that I can that we can work with if needed. But we're gonna set those aside for a second. Ooh, oh, I found some pink. We can use that because it's already here, right? So we're using stuff that's on the desk or nearby. I've got, kind of fun to use one of these like, like that. If we're gonna grungy it up anyway. Oh, but you know what? If this side goes glued down it won't matter if it's decorated or not what we need to do is this side don't we okay so if it goes this way even if it's this way if it's this it probably won't be this way because that's a really wide journal it'll most likely be this way even though that's sideways so we need to do this side we could just totally decoupage this side what you doing, Gretchen? Hi, baby girl. Mm, I don't have a lot of pastels sitting here. Let's see what we can do. Um, what can we do? What can we do? What can we do? I'm looking all around me for my pastels. Oh, I think I found some things. Oh, hang on, hang on. I think we scored right here. Look at this. Look at this. What? How perfect is that? And you know what? I don't even have to cut it apart. I don't need to decoupage that. I can actually add decoration to the to the to that. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. Um, this is gonna be six and a quarter inches. Nope, that's not six and a quarter. That's five and a quarter by nine. Five and a quarter by nine. That worked out perfect, didn't it? See, it's amazing what you find is sitting around you. Five and a quarter by nine. That worked out. I've got all my, I've got most of my, well, I don't have all my Christmas stuff around me. I mean, it's, it's out and about. <laughs> But that worked out just right because then I don't have to decoupage. It's perfect. It's perfect size. It's the perfect color. <sighs> Love it when this stuff happens. And I'm kind of bummed that. But anyway, I've got more. I've got more cooking paper. I'm. I'm fine. I'm okay. And this paper is gorgeous. Ooh, my belly is growling. 
Somebody's hungry. Somebody might be me. Could be, could be. I gotta keep checking, make sure we're still recording. I think my memory got full yesterday. I, I can't think, well, I also had some text messages come through and I think that boots me out of recording sometimes. There, that's beautiful. Okay, now, should we just leave it this way? Or should, I know I need to put something here, but I don't know what. Um, this guest check isn't gonna go well, really with that stuff. Even though I'm, I'm, I'm tempted, I'm really tempted to do that. Really, really tempted. Um, but I feel like it needs something a little more. I don't know what the word is, but something a little more elegant, maybe. These are. I've got my Stamperia Christmas pastel Christmas stuff right here. Maybe something here. Let's see if I can get it out from underneath these boxes. On my desk. There. Well, hey, I've got this right here. Actually, these would be great inside the pocket. So, I don't want to cut them to decorate the pocket if I can use them inside the pocket. So now, I don't want to use those because, yeah, I mean, hello. We're going to use them, but we're going to use them inside the pocket. So, that's that. All right, I'm gonna set that back aside. Maybe we can just use some of this. Christmas is love and action. This is beautiful. Christmas roads lead home. Believe in the magic of Christmas. Love is all around us. Greetings, joy, make a wish. Love is, love the giver more than the gift. Oh, we should just go with, well. That's kind of nice though, because if I've got journal cards in there, it's kind of like a gift for you, right? Let's just do that. Let's do that. And if I don't like the sentiment when the time comes, I can cover it, I can change it, I can fix it. That's what we do. Let's get it out. This is actually the cover of the, the Stamperia. Look, I've got a couple other things I can cut out of here too. Ooh, that's gorgeous. Ooh, I love that though. Let's use that instead. Let's use that instead. I'm gonna go, well, hang on. Just one step at a time. One step at a time. I probably, yeah, I did. I just cut up something on the back. I don't know if I mind that that word is cut off. I don't know if I mind that at all. Will that work? And I know it's got that on there. But if we put this kind of like right here, it's got kind of a decoupage feel to it. Am I on the on the wrong track here? Or do you like it, you guys? I need some help. I need some help. I think I like it. I'm not digging this as much though. That's too much going on. Or do we like just this little simple for you? I think I should just go with this. I love the other though. I do love the other. I think we're just gonna go with this. We'll go with my first instinct. So I've got, um, you guys, Christmas is just in a few days. Oh my goodness. I've got everything wrapped except for one gift. And then I'm done. My tree is full. Full of blessings. And you know what's really even more fun? That about 50% of the gifts that I made that I am giving this year, I handmade. <clears throat> and I think the kids will actually like them. Got a, um, at least one more to mail. That won't take, that, you know, I can probably get that out. 
shoot, I should try to get that out today probably. I don't know if it's gonna make it on time. I'm kind of giving up on it making it by Christmas. Um, and that's fine. Because that's asking a lot right now. <laughs> it's a little late, a little late for that. But, you know, you gotta try. Oops. Gotta try. Did I need to get this side? If I did, I didn't do it very well. All right, so there's that one. Yeah, I think that's probably the better answer. That's that's good. And then I can add more to it later if I want to. You know, it doesn't have to be. It's not now or never. As we craft, will our tastes change and you know, it might look perfect now, but once I have something to put it into, like a book to put it into, it might not be enough. Who knows? We'll just kind of put it there. I'll flop over a little. Well, it won't matter because that's going to be glued to the book most likely. Most likely. <clears throat> and let's go ahead and do this. Um, I think I'm going to take a notch out of this one. Since I did it on the front, it will be more... more it'll match the front that's the word I'm thinking of I'm losing my words today losing my words Such two. We're also going to do this because we don't want it to be stark white, do we? No. No, we don't. Actually, I should probably put something there. I'll come back to that thought. Hang on. <laughs> I was like, oh, hey. Come back to that thought one thing at a time slow myself down a little bit should have cut this edge before I glued it on but I didn't doing this I'm just using the excess of my um of the ink on there just to kind of dinge it up I'm not trying to make it obvious that I did that but just to dinge it up because it's very bright and that way if I go around the design it will kind of help pop that design out a little bit a little bit brighter in the middle makes it good all right so let's do let's think let's think on this a second okay mm. all right so we're gonna put this in here right And this, I was like thinking, I need to decorate this side. Maybe I need to cut this down. Maybe I can put this on here instead. Maybe. What do you think? What do you guys think? Need some help here. Maybe we'll do some fussy cutting. And maybe we'll go here. And it won't do good to do too much fussy cutting because
Hold on. Maybe I can save it. about this. I'm going to still have to trim up part of that anyway. And see how my scissor cuts are crooked? <laughs> it's terrible. It's just terrible. go there I could totally put this here and that is actually really beautiful so I still have pretty much I mean I still have the most of the design I've just altered it and I wish I had something in here which I can do something there okay so that's what we're gonna do there let's go ahead and keep that ink out because obviously I'm gonna need it Shoot, I forgot that was crooked. That's okay. I can go this way. Which line are we folding on? We're folding on this first one. So we'll cut that there. Whoop. Try not to cut the actual envelope there, T. just a little bit all right so there's that and then we'll put oh we got to put this down here first crunch that up as if it needs much more huh it's so pretty it's so pretty now I could just go well, I guess I can't glue that there and then I can cut that around the outside as well this will actually help reinforce it as well putting this paper here so when it's glued in it'll be a little more sturdy for all the movement that it could be getting because you know we're so rough on our journals and stuff such glue that flower let's do that right there oh it's gonna stick over just a little okay well we'll trim that up so that it doesn't shoot kind of bummed that it's gonna stick over like that but I mean you know I think I'll be happy with how it turns out. Anyway. Oh, you know what? Nope, I can't do that. I wouldn't be happy with that. I was going to say I could place it over and let it be a tab, but I wouldn't be happy with it, so let's don't do that. Nope, nope. nope. glue this side very well. There. That's pretty. 
That's pretty. I still am not happy with this. Feel like I can still do something here. And what should we put here? I've got this is gonna be too. I mean I could grunge this up. I guess I should just do that. Probably. See that is it doesn't look new anymore, does it? <laughs> Oops, this side. I don't think we're gonna get to make too many pockets here. I think I think one might be it. I got an idea and just took off with it, didn't I? Nothing wrong with that. As long as it's productive, nothing wrong with that. Um, so I laid that crooked, funny, weird. And let's try, let's try again. Probably because I cut weird. Let's try going straight across. have to go all the way inside because it's not going to show. But let's cover the gap. There, that's better. And we'll grungy this one up. Just about there, right? I don't even need that much. That would be great. If that's straighter. Oh, that's worse. My paper is getting shorter and shorter. <laughs> but it actually turned out just right, I think. There we go. There's a little gap in there. I'm okay with that. I'm all right with that tiny itty bitty gap. That's fine. This one is going to go in here. There we go. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Let's move these out of the way. I think that's great. Okay, now. Should we cut these? This is so big. I don't know if this is the right size. Maybe we should be putting this tag inside there. Nah. I think that tag will be great there. And it'll have a bow. We'll put a bow on it. I don't think I have a bow today. Or I don't have one. I don't have the stuff picked out. So I'm not going to worry about that right now. That's what I'm saying. What I'm trying to say. What I'm attempting to say is that I don't have any of that right now with me nearby. And it would be impolite to leave you hanging just sitting here waiting for me to come back while I dig through my 
through my ribbons because I know my ribbons are a mess. They are not organized very well. I need to do something about that. And then as I make them, I will be able to do that. Yay! You guys, I've got to use stuff up. I just have to. It's time. All right, so these cards... As much as I don't have to use them all in here, I'm going to at least store them in here. And I'll grunge them up when I need them. All right, so this is that. I do want to put... Okay, I have these poinsettias that are sitting here. Oh, one just fell in my dress. Um, that I do need to use up. And I thought this would be a cute place to use them here. We usually decorate some threes. So let's get this one as well. And I want to give them a little bit of dimension because they look they're very flat, very, very flat. So we're going to give them a little dimension. I have an idea for that. Okay, and then they should have these little center pieces. They should have, um, there's another little center that's supposed to go on there, but we're going to do something different because I don't have those centers cut out. And again, we are using stuff around us, and I'm trying not to leave you waiting for me. So we're going to put do something different for the middle. What are we going to do? What is it we're going to do? Um... Ooh, I have an idea. I don't know if it'll work though. I've never done this, but um, I have an idea. Where's my pencil? It's here, I know it's here. My pencil has an eraser on it. Well, this is a different, I don't wanna use that eraser because I like that eraser. This eraser, like that eraser too. Ooh, but I have an eraser under that, which I won't use, which is this one. And that is about the right size. I'm going to stamp it on my ink and stamp it in the center and see what happens. Boop. Oh, look at that. Perfect center. <laughs> That's probably an even better one, but let's... Where'd the third one go? There we go. There. And a, and a stamp out of my pencil eraser that worked out and it wiped off really well. Okay, so there's that. We're gonna use those centers for the poinsettia. I think I wanna do something more though for that. I think I want to add, call me crazy, but I kinda wanna glitter these up just a little. feel like playing in the glitter today. They look like little sunflowers in the middle. All right, that's fine. Okay, super cute. Now on this, I was looking at it and I thought this would be cute to make. Um, I'm gonna have to put some paper behind it because it's not gonna stand out. It'll be cute to make like a little, a little tag. Or maybe use that and put, yes, there we go. That's, that's a better idea. Here's a shorter one, will that work? It's not a better idea because the problem is it doesn't stand out on the paper. So I need it the, the solid color on the back. I could put this on the front too. But let me see if I have just a little bigger piece. Or I could use I could use one of these other the craft paper would work too. Something like that would work. Just a little bit on there. Yep, that would work well. I 
think we're only making one pocket today. <laughs> I did. I got carried away. Oh my goodness. What happened to Mouse Making Monday? That didn't happen. This is like, like, like Mouse Distraction right here. This is, this is fun. I've needed a day to get distracted and do something like this because I have been struggling with my mojo. Coming up with ideas and stuff. I think my creativity has been um, used at work lately and struggling. Oops, almost threw away my little label I wanted. This is not straight by any means. Let's see if that's better. And see if that's better. Probably not. Let's see how bad it is. Just a little off this edge. Good enough. Okay. Perfection is not my middle name. Far from it. on here we're gonna grunge up these flowers just a little bit we're gonna put some glitter on them but I want to put some of the I want to distress them just a little so that they kind of you know go with go with everything some let's put some glue on there and uh, some glitter 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 not grit paste glitter although I should be using using grip grit paste Tom I did use grip paste or I did use oh but that won't work see see the centers that are supposed to be on there but that's close um I will use gilding wax on that because I did on here and I use some of these greens too. I'll have to see. We'll get into the foliage box. It should be here, anywhere here. Maybe I won't use glitter. That's taking it a totally different direction, I think. So let's use the gold. I'm not worried about matching the centers at this point because we're beyond that. But let's use the gold. That'll add the sparkle that I'm looking for, I think, or the, the that extra little shimmer. And kind of help tie it together. There we go. All right. And it lives there. See if we can find some more of those boxes here. I think. Did I put it away? I did not, did I? Nope, I know I didn't. <laughs> it's like, I know I didn't. I couldn't have possibly put things away because my room would be clean then, and it's not. It's far from it. So it's here. It's here. You guys, you'd, you'd laugh if you saw my room right now. You'd be like, oh my God, what, what exploded? What exploded? What happened? Actually, you probably wouldn't be surprised at all. I'm a hot mess. I'm a hot mess crafter. Let me look over here and see if that box has escaped from me. Because I feel like it should be right here. And uh, it's not. It is not. Do I have any of those little pieces nearby? No, I don't. Well, we're going to go without them then. Too bad. Too bad little pieces. I don't know where you escaped to, 
but you're obviously not here in front of me, so I can't use you. I have some little green Merry Christmases, but that's kind of not the same. Totally not the same. All right, so I would like to do, I think I should do the grit paste on here because it's going to, it, it's it's going to tie it together so it will look like this is supposed to be in here. I think I do need to do that here. Maybe a little bit here. Um, so I will need my stencil. Because I think that's what's pulling it different. I think it'll be more cohesive if I do that. Unfortunately, my stencils are the same situation. Let's see. Um... I moved them. I moved my stencil binder. Stay with me now. Don't go. <laughs> Where's my stencil binder? I'm going to have to edit these parts out of my videos, huh? Oh, I see it. Looking for the wrong color binder. There it is. I found it. Let's through, look through my stencils, why don't we? And see if we can find that stencil. It shouldn't be too far. Shouldn't be too far at all. I don't use my stencils nearly enough. Not nearly enough. It might actually be in the back. I've got some beautiful stencils, don't I? Um, Lori gave me this one, I love it. I don't even care if I don't use the same exact one, but well, it is a favorite. I mean, and it would be cohesive, those of those won't work. I could do something. If I do something different, it'll probably be this one. It's not damask like the other one was, but it's a little bit bigger. It's simple. It won't pull away from from the design, but I think, oh, I've got some more back here. I think it might be, that one's pretty too, but I think I'd go with this one first. Yeah, I don't know, it's not in here apparently. Okay, well, again, if I can't find it, I'm not gonna use it, so there. I'll just set that aside. Okay, Mr. Tim Holt scissors, throw it on the floor. All right, let's move this other stuff. So apparently we're using this one because this is the one I could find. Yes, it's different. This is more of a damask. It is a damask. And this one is not. But I think it will be equally beautiful and it will work. I mean, it's gonna, um, it's close enough. That's, that's just, I'm going with it. That's what I'm gonna do. So am I convincing myself? Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe I'm procrastinating, so maybe I'll think about where it might actually be. I have tape in there, oh my gosh. That's pretty cool. And another spatula. Oh, I found my corner rounder. Oh my God, you know what? I've been looking for this for months. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and, since I found it, put it there. Oh my word, I can't believe I finally found that. All right, is this the one I want? This is the Snowfall Grip Paste, not the one I want. I want the transparent, translucent, not transparent, translucent. This is the translucent grip paste. This is it. That's the one I used on the other. And I don't need probably all of that. I'm just gonna do thin layer. Just a thin layer. We'll just kind of go up into this design just a bit. Oops, I think I missed this big old part right here that I want. There we go. So we'll just have a little swirl there. And then we're gonna put, oh, there's a birdie there. We're just gonna put a little swirl up here in this corner. Just a little bit. There, that'll 
work. Threes, right? Are you guys saying it too? Do it in threes. But I'm gonna have something else down here. So I think this will be okay. I think this will be just fine. Let's close that up. And put that back. Put those up, we'll be okay. Should take better care of my spatulas. I probably just need new ones at this point. And this is gonna have to dry. So I'm gonna get out my heat gun. I'm gonna have to edit this, I just know it. <laughs> You'll thank me later, I'm sure. It's gonna be too long anyway, so here we go. I'm just gonna dab some ink on there. And a little bit of the gilding wax. That's how I did it last time, so we'll do that again. And actually, I went around the edges of the tag with this too, so I should probably do the same. and do that. Love this gilding wax. Just adds so much, so much. Mine's getting a bit dry. It's getting a little bit harder to use. I've been using it for a while though. This same, the same um, container over a year or so. You know, it served me well. Especially as much as I use it. And apparently I've dropped it because it's busted. It is busted. Let's add a little bit of that to the candle. Let's go ahead and add this on the back as well. Ooh, I got almost had a chunk under there. That's okay though. Adds to the grunge, right? Especially add it to the flowers. There we go. Beautiful, I love it. I am loving it. This is all gonna come together. And when you know when the time's right, I'll do those two, um, the, the cards, but we're just really focusing really today on this pocket. Oh, I forgot to, no, I did do it on these. Yeah, see, these will look beautiful here. I'm going to put two from you, me. There. We'll 
apart. I'll just kind of tuck that in there. That'll be cute, right? I think so. What fun! This is great. This actually turned out better than I anticipated, really, honestly. Ooh, you guys, look at this. Check this out. As I sit here waiting for my glue gun to uh, get hot, check this out. This may not actually work. Oh, check it out. Check it out. Maybe not. But if we get some thread, what if we put this under there too? Bada boom. Put that so it's sticking out underneath. Is it hot enough yet? Almost. that all glued in there in a cattywampus way man pull this one back up in there I don't like it being that long And this one. We'll just do the, just the edge on this one so it tips out and it can be lifted up. Look how cute that turned out. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love this. Okay, so here it is, we're done. This is the pocket. Now I could put a sentiment or something here, but I think that would kind of distract from this tag because it's gonna have a beautiful bow on it. But that's a pocket for that gorgeousness. Ugh, there's glue strings everywhere. But we've got all the distress and all of the um, drip paste and all of the gold. It's all over my fingers. And then, see, this will be a nice flip. Even though, like I said, even though it's this way, which I should have thought of that for the, the name tag, but that's okay. I, I still love it because you can still turn your book and look at it. And it'll flip open with another pocket. We can decorate, or this can be used for journaling spot, something like that. And then there's goodies inside. We've got these um, cut aparts in here that can be used. Um, throughout whatever journal this goes into. And this could be glued to the page. Or I could put some more paper on here and it can just be clipped into a journal. So that might actually be a really great answer too to the, the sideways thing. So there it is. We're done with that. I think it turned out beautiful. I hope you guys love it too. And I hope you had some good time crafting. Thanks for joining me and spending some time. Uh, love you all. I hope you all have a fantastic holiday. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.